Good afternoon. Just heading out to add some here. Or I guess Hinton. To uh, move some rail stuff. We load up five. So we better get cooking on here and then uh, I think it's come back to Edmonton. But I'll post to you as I know because I don't know much right now. Just kind of rush, rush. Got some double stack trailers. Got the booster behind me. Scales is open and piers, so. It appears that I might be fucked. Just kidding. Let's roll and we'll see what's going on. I'll be back in a bit. Enjoy the watch of the drive. <laughs>
going pretty good considering how many loads we're hawking out of here we got every truck in our fleet dealing with trains this is what the fourth train and we got uh, three in a row coming right now so it's all right it's by the hour we're just going to be taking this back to Edmonton so a short jaunt and then we'll see what we're doing after that might have to go to Fort Mac get some uh, flock tanks or a flock tank there's three so we'll see if we can stack them it'd be sweet if we could stack them and get two anyways I don't have a high boy and I can't get them flat enough with the Unless if there's a loader, it'll be not happening. Keep you posted though. Stay tuned to the yellow show. Pretty quiet around here. I'm hidden here in Atchison. This is where we park. This is this is base number two out of three. Just a single truck base. <sighs> so yeah, we're just in Atchison here. We're gonna fire up here. We're gonna go and load at nine. It's it's eight o'clock. Ten after eight. We're going to zip down. It's just off of Highway 16 on the yellow head there. Right where I dropped off uh, that loader the other day. And after that, we can zip back to Red Deer for noon, grab a 400, clean harbors, and take that out to Pinoca. Drop that off. And then we don't know what's what we're going to be doing. We got some stuff out at Anzac we got to go get. So we'll see if we'll uh, wait and go home, leave super early in the morning, or if I have time, if I get this done soon enough, get back to the shop, go home, shower, go load the tank, take the tank out, and then maybe I'll continue on to Anzac. We'll see. We'll see. But anyways, we'll get going here soon, so stay tuned.
tank is loaded. Got some planks. I was gonna go switch trailers, but it sounds like I'm just gonna come back and then we'll go to Anzac tomorrow, which is what's that, east of Fort Mac event. Conklin area, Anzac, whatever, it's all the same, but so we'll take this 400 out, which I don't exactly know where, but it looks like the rain is trying to sneak up on us here. So I better hurry up and get out there before I have to get humid, more humid. Stay tuned. something you got to be up there before like 6 30 so yeah. go early enough or if we go later we'll be coming home late 50 50 nice gigantor lease actually this first lease that i was checking out there i'm like oh that's where we moved that drilling rig off and i did invert tanks pipe tops, a whole bunch of tank farm for the drilling rig, but I finished up the tail end of somebody's drilling rig, just all like the fluid rental stuff. That was, was that the beginning of winter? Was that the tail end of last one? Wow, I don't even remember now, that's how long ago it was. Spot bought a thon in the pole track. 
Yeah, we normally don't ever come in this way. Because there's a couple houses right here. If you go, like the first way when I went by, I'm like, oh, this is the easiest 761. But I'm like, oh, as I drove by the corner, I was like, oh, that's the range road, 51. And I'm like, oh, I'm like too far to back up. Well, it wasn't too far to back up. Just couldn't see properly enough to not drive over a civilian or something. So I just went and turned around. But where I turned around at the range road up there is where we can come in the other way. Then my mileage was off, so I'm like, could be guessing. Uh, usually try to take the way with less residents. So you're not pissing them off because it is dusty. That back truck's just blowing the dust. Well, okay, whistle home. Maybe we'll, can we detour the, yeah, let's go this way and we'll take the Rainy Creek so we can bypass that bridge construction. Yep, yeah, that's a good idea. So that thing's been under construction since I was at Road Train, like the last year or two. Well, it's soft spot. Suicide knob cam. I don't know if it's because they got too much Freon in this thing. Well, not that he uses Freon, whatever the hell it is nowadays for there. But this fan is like on. Turns off for like 30 seconds. On. My uh, road train C5, like it would only come on if you were parked on location and not moving because it's got such a massive condenser and radiator. It never came on. He's like, that's the way it's supposed to be. And the air conditioning's on. I'm like, no. They're just dusting everybody else. It's already back on. That wasn't even 30 seconds. That's kind of annoying because it robs my power, burns my fuel, and it's noisy. Err. Then I already am. If there's any uh, AC technicians that are watching this, that know. Let me know, because that's what I think. I think they put too much in. And it's freezing up the system, and I do believe that's why the fan turns on to keep the condenser defrosted, or it could be wrong, is it the other way is to keep it cool. But if I'm going down the highway at 116 kilometers an hour, then it shouldn't be coming off. We'll be back to town here in like, uh, see, it's on again. 40 minutes, not even, yeah, 40 minutes. Didn't get rained on, nice and hot, nice and sweaty. For the third time, I'm due for a shower. I'm just like, oh man, I don't know if I can go drive to Anzac now. I'm like, I need a shower, bad. I think it's been getting worse because I've been consuming quite a bit of alcohol lately in life. Just like, became a regular drinker, just casual, hanging out while I'm editing. I'm just like, yeah, it's afternoon. Let's have a couple drinks. It's like if you were an angry drunk, I wouldn't be tolerating it. I'm like, I wouldn't tolerate it either. But I'm happy. Happier. All right. That's enough babbling about my life problems. Other people out there have worse problems than me. Some farm junk. Oh, cab over. Well, stay on the road.
Thank you.